crippling ransomware attacks on essential services, data breaches compromising millions of personal records. Every day, headlines of cyber attacks overwhelm our news feeds. According to the Federal Bureau of Investigations, between 2018 and 2022, they received over 3.2 million reports of internet crime with more than $27 billion in losses. The consequences of a cyber attack reverberate far beyond the digital realm. They have potential to disrupt critical infrastructure and essential services, but also expose our personal data. But why should you care? Well, your digital presence is more than just emails and social media profiles. Your data is an asset. Cyber criminals are looking to gain access to your information and will use a variety of methods to get it. Personal information and whole identities can be stolen finances drained, and your privacy compromised. So what does a cyber attack look like? Well, let's set the scene. Julie is a receptionist and is active on a variety of social media platforms. She loves to share information about her experiences at work, but mixed in with some posts about her hobbies. A cyber criminal finds her profile on a few sites and sees her profile is public on a popular career website. It doesn't take long to find out that she is a fan of skiing, and as the hacker continues their recon, they find out Julie booked a trip to Banff next week. This is the perfect hook. Julie receives an email. It's a booking company notifying her of an issue with the hotel stay for her trip. She's worried because her trip is only a few days away. She clicks the link to verify the booking details and is directed to an error page. She calls the hotel and they confirm there are no changes to her booking. It must have just been a mistake. But that email wasn't really from the travel company. It's the hacker and this click allowed them to install malware onto her system. Just like that, Julie has been compromised. The malware deployed allows the threat actor access to Julie's phone, mobile applications, and system without her even knowing she's been hacked. This can expand from the digital sphere into the physical. Criminals may access Julie's home security applications or other devices connected to her network. Once a cyber criminal gains access, they can even compound the damage by leveraging personal information for illicit purposes, including selling your personal data on the dark web or by using a ready-made ransomware kit, encrypting all device files and locking them down until Julie pays the threat actor's ransom. This is just one example of a cyber attack, but there are a variety of other attack types, such as brute force, insider threat, denial of service attacks, otherwise known as DDoS, and code injection attacks. No matter the attack type, maintaining good cyber hygiene is the best first line of defense. It's like locking your doors and windows in the physical world. It's the essential first step for safeguarding your digital life. Use the five P's of cyber hygiene to protect yourself in the digital space. Passwords, patching, permissions, protecting your identity, and protecting your parents and loved ones. First, let's start with passwords. They are the keys to your digital presence. Create strong, unique passwords for each account and device. You should not reuse passwords and they should not include personal information. For example, the type of car you drive, your birth date, or pet's name. If you have Wi-Fi enabled products such as a smart TV, security camera, or other Internet of Things or IoT devices, they come with a default password that is easy for criminals to crack. Always change the default password for any device that connects to your home network. Consider incorporating a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Don't use consecutive characters such as ABC or 123. Consider using a passphrase. Passphrases can be a song lyric or quote. Ensure they're at least 12 characters long to help make brute force attacks more challenging. If available, Enable multi-factor authentication on the account or device, as well as biometric login. Multi-factor authentication creates a layered defense that makes it more difficult for an attacker to gain access to your account if your password is compromised. Moving on to patching. Patches are used to fix or improve a computer program, and they often contain critical security updates that fits vulnerabilities attackers could exploit. Patching is a way to protect your devices against known vulnerabilities. System updates on iOS or Android are a common form of patching. It's important to regularly check for updates on all of your devices, including Internet of Things and mobile devices. Don't delay their installation. 
enabling automatic updates is also an easy way to ensure your device and application security features stay up to date. The third P is for permissions. File permissions and application access play a critical role in your cyber hygiene. Are you aware of the personal data that applications have access to? When downloading new apps or granting access to services, exercise caution in allowing them permissions. Protect personal data by taking time to review how applications and Internet of Things devices use it and review the privacy settings. Applications can ask for access to a variety of permissions, like location tracking, sending data to companies for advertising purposes, or camera access. It's important that you understand what information an app requests and why they need access to it. Most of these settings, by default, share your data. It's up to you to manage these permissions to protect your personal information, restricting access to only when you are using the app. The fourth P is protecting your identity. It's important to safeguard your personal information by not oversharing or falling for phishing scams. Social media is a great tool to connect with people across the world, but it can also be a place where cyber criminals can exploit you. Some effective strategies to safeguard personal information on social media are regularly review and adjusting your privacy settings on the platforms, restricting who can view your posts, personal details, and contact information, changing your passwords regularly and enabling multi-factor authentication, and not accepting requests from unknown or suspicious accounts. Check your login sessions regularly for any suspicious logins or attempted logins. If there are suspicious logins or attempted logins, immediately change your password and report the incident to the platform. Stay away from quizzes that ask for fun information, as many of these questions are used as security questions as well. Think before you post. Avoid sharing sensitive information such as home address, phone number, financial details, or personal schedules. Any information you share on social media can be used to trick you into clicking on phishing emails or clicking phishing texts. If you don't know the sender of an email or text, be cautious. Look for inconsistencies such as incorrect or inaccurate information, generic greetings, or misspelt or public domains, and be wary of threatening or urgent language. Do not open attachments, click on links, or scan QR codes if you do not know the source and can't verify the contents. Assume they are malicious until you can determine otherwise. The final P is for parents and loved ones. This means sharing your good cyber hygiene practices with your friends and family. Take some time to help elderly family and friends, or those who are not as familiar with technology. Scams against the elder population are more common as they may lack awareness of online threats like phishing or malware. If they receive a suspicious email or phone call, make sure to let them know they can contact you if they are in doubt. Remind them to never share personal information over the phone, even if they say the call came from their bank. Another population vulnerable to cyber attacks are children. They often lack awareness of potential online dangers, such as safeguarding personal information online. Parents should be aware of what sites their children visit and activate parental controls on apps, browsers, and accounts. This includes monitoring app stores for purchases and limiting what children can download. Sharing your knowledge about the five Ps can help them recognize and avoid risky situations in the digital age. Learn more at bmo.com forward slash security.